electric cars really the saviors of our planet as they're often portrayed to be? It's an intriguing question. The world has been abuzz with the promise of electric vehicles, heralding them as the green solution to our pollution problem. We've been told they're the key to a sustainable future, a clean break from the smog and grime of fossil fuel guzzlers. But is this the whole story? Let's delve deeper to uncover the truth behind the environmental impact of electric cars. Electric cars, seemingly a modern phenomenon, actually date back to the 19th century. The journey of electric vehicles, or EVs as they're commonly known, is a tale that zigzags through the annals of innovation, brimming with fascinating turns and twists. Imagine the world in the late 1800s. The first electric carriages were quietly making their way onto the cobblestone streets. These horseless carriages, powered by rechargeable batteries, were a hit, especially in cities. They were clean, quiet, and easy to operate, unlike their noisy, smoke-belching counterparts, the internal combustion engines. And yet, as we moved into the 20th century, electric cars began to lose their luster. The discovery of large petroleum reserves led to a sharp drop in gasoline prices. Simultaneously, the invention of the electric starter made gasoline-powered cars easier to start, eliminating one of the significant advantages of electric vehicles. As a result, the reign of the internal combustion engine began, pushing electric cars into the shadows. Fast forward to the late 20th century, the world started waking up to the stark realities of environmental degradation and the urgent need for sustainable alternatives. This sparked a new interest in electric vehicles. Visionaries and innovators saw an opportunity to redefine transportation, and thus, the electric car began its journey back into the limelight. Today in the 21st century, we're witnessing a full-fledged resurgence of electric cars. With advancements in technology, electric cars are becoming more efficient, affordable and accessible. They're celebrated for their potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and our dependence on fossil fuels. However, it's essential to remember that every coin has two sides. Electric cars, while offering numerous benefits, also come with their own set of challenges. As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll explore these in detail. With this historical context, it becomes clearer why electric cars are seen as a green alternative. But as we move forward, let's also examine the complexities that come with this seemingly straightforward solution to our environmental woes. The production process of electric cars is a key factor in their environmental impact. Let's take a closer look at this. The manufacturing of electric vehicles, especially crafting their batteries, is a highly energy-intensive process. The heart of an electric vehicle, its battery, isn't just made in a snap. It requires an enormous amount of energy and resources, which contributes to a significant chunk of the vehicle's overall carbon footprint. The energy needed to produce these batteries is staggering. It's akin to powering a small town for several days. And where does this energy come from? Mostly from burning fossil fuels. That's right. The creation of these so-called clean energy vehicles is ironically powered by the very thing they're meant to replace. Next, let's talk about the raw materials. The batteries of electric cars use a cocktail of rare earth metals. These include lithium, cobalt, nickel and others. These aren't just lying around waiting to be picked up. They need to be mined, and mining is anything but clean. The extraction of these metals often entails significant environmental degradation, not to mention the social and human rights issues associated with some of these mining operations. Forests are razed, habitats are destroyed, and water sources are contaminated. It's a heavy price to pay for progress, wouldn't you agree? And while these metals are called rare for a reason, they're not infinite. As demand grows, so does the pressure on these finite resources. The question then becomes, are we simply swapping one unsustainable resource, fossil fuels, for another, rare earth metals? So, it's not just about the emissions an electric car produces while driving. It's about the whole life cycle of the vehicle. From the extraction of raw materials to the manufacturing process, each step carries an environmental cost that is far too often overlooked. So, the very creation of electric cars already leaves a significant carbon footprint. Let's delve deeper into the heart of the electric car, the battery. The manufacturing process of these powerhouses is a mammoth task that requires substantial energy and resources. As our visuals take you through the bustling factories, you'll see giant machines humming and whirring, crafting these intricate pieces of technology. 
Workers clad in safety gear move efficiently, their hands skilled from countless hours of work. It's like watching a well-choreographed dance of man and machine. But what lies beneath this spectacle? The answer is a colossal amount of energy. To put it in perspective, the energy required to produce just one electric car battery is equivalent to powering a small town for several days. Imagine that! And this energy, more often than not, comes from burning fossil fuels. Now, let's shift our focus to the raw materials. Rare earth metals such as lithium, cobalt and nickel are the main ingredients in these batteries. The mining and extraction process of these metals is far from clean, often leading to significant environmental degradation. As we journey through this process, it's crucial to remember that these resources are not infinite. They're called rare for a reason. As the demand for electric cars grows, so does the pressure on these finite resources. So the next time you see an electric car zooming past, remember the energy and resources that went into crafting its heart, the battery. It's a testament to human ingenuity, but it also poses a question. Are we merely trading one set of environmental issues for another? It's food for thought, isn't it? Electric cars don't emit greenhouse gases while driving, but what about the electricity that powers them? This is where we come upon the power source paradox. Let's delve into this a bit. The environmental impact of electric vehicles, or EVs as they're often called, is primarily determined by the source of their power. If the electricity that charges an EV comes from renewable sources like wind or solar power, then the car can run essentially carbon-free. Sounds perfect, right? But hold on, the plot thickens. The reality is that most of the world's electricity is still generated from fossil fuels, coal and natural gas to be specific. So if an electric vehicle is charged from a grid that relies heavily on these non-renewable resources, it indirectly contributes to greenhouse gas emissions. Here's the irony. The same electric car that is celebrated as a champion of clean energy in one part of the world could be an environmental villain in another, depending on the source of its power. Consider this. In a country that primarily uses renewable energy sources, an electric car's carbon footprint could be significantly smaller than a traditional gasoline car. But in a country where coal is the primary source of electricity, the emissions from charging an electric car could be even higher than those from a conventional car. This is not an attempt to demonize electric cars. Far from it. It's about understanding the full picture. We need to recognize that while EVs are a step in the right direction, they are not a standalone solution. The transition to electric cars should go hand in hand with a shift towards cleaner power sources. It's a two-part harmony, if you will. The electrification of transport must be complemented by the decarbonization of electricity. So next time you see an electric car silently gliding down the street, remember this power source paradox? The clean electric car therefore may not be so clean after all. Once an electric car's battery reaches the end of its life, where does it go? This is a question we often overlook, but it's one that carries significant weight. Electric car batteries you see are not like ordinary batteries. They're massive, complex, and filled with a cocktail of heavy metals and chemicals. Disposing of them isn't as simple as chucking them in a bin and calling it a day. Picture this, a world where we've fully transitioned to electric cars. Millions, possibly billions, of these colossal batteries reaching the end of their life cycle. The question then arises, where do we put all these spent batteries? Landfills, you might think. That's a solution, but not a good one. These batteries contain harmful substances like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. If improperly disposed of, these substances can leak out, contaminating soil and groundwater. The environmental impact is far-reaching, affecting not just our landscapes, but our health too. So, if not landfills, then recycling, right? In theory, yes, but here's the catch. Recycling these batteries is no walk in the park. It's an intricate, energy-intensive process that requires specialized machinery and a lot of resources. And let's not forget, the recycling process itself can generate waste and emissions. Moreover, the infrastructure for efficient battery recycling is still in its infancy. While strides are being made, we're far from a world where every electric car battery can be fully and efficiently recycled. The sad truth is, many of these batteries end up in landfills, posing a threat to our planet and its inhabitants. Now this isn't to say that all hope is lost, innovations are underway to improve battery design, extend their lifespan, and make recycling easier and more efficient. But we're in a race against time, and the clock is ticking. The disposal of electric car batteries poses yet another environmental challenge. 
It's a dilemma that we must confront head on, because the future of our planet depends on it. As we navigate this road towards a greener future, let's remember it's not just about adopting electric cars, it's about doing it right. After exploring the various aspects, it's clear that the environmental impact of electric cars is a complex issue. We've peeled back the layers, revealing that beneath the surface of this technological advancement, there are some hard truths. The production process of electric vehicles is energy intensive. From mining rare earth metals to assembling the final product, each step consumes a significant amount of energy. This energy often comes from fossil fuels, which defeats the purpose of a cleaner, greener vehicle. Then, there's the power source paradox. Electric cars are only as clean as their power source. If the electricity powering them comes from coal or gas, then we're merely shifting the environmental impact from the tailpipe to the power plant. It's an illusion of green, not a true solution. And let's not forget the battery disposal dilemma. Electric car batteries are difficult to recycle, and their disposal poses a significant environmental risk. When these batteries reach the end of their life, we're left with a massive problem on our hands. While electric cars have their own set of environmental challenges, they represent a step towards a more sustainable future if we address these issues effectively. The road to sustainability is a journey, not a destination. It requires continuous improvement, innovation, and most importantly, our collective effort. The challenges of electric cars are not insurmountable. They are opportunities for us to innovate, to improve, and to create a truly sustainable transportation solution for the future.